This will be a day long remembered. Now I am the master. Welcome to another episode of Legends and Theories. And welcome to my review of the Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, Season 2, Episode 7, titled Doom to Die. Don't have too much time to record this right now, so I'm going to be brief, but this was honestly a great episode. Going through everything was really interesting to see Sauron go and manipulate really everyone. Him to finally be exposed to Calibrimbor and we ultimately get a really cool confrontation at the end. The battle scenes looked honestly incredible and the the one thing I really, really didn't like was when Elrond kissed Galadriel, but uh, I think that was literally just a way for him to sneak over the way for her to escape. I still hope it doesn't mean any more than that because that would be a really, 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 really dumb inclusion. But just going through this, honestly, this was just such a truly crazy episode. So much happened. We got the the death of that one elf. I don't remember his name specifically, but the one that was with the sealed door early this season and was fell in love with that one woman, but honestly, he's not too major going through just so much more. It was so crazy to see the rest of it. The entire battle of Regan was honestly just really interesting. Getting also to see how Star's new pieces are working out. It's very clear that the main reason that Eddard will be turned down is for him wanting to go and sacrifice his quote unquote children to be able to destroy Sauron, and Sauron's going to use that against him. But yeah, honestly, the manipulations of Sauron in this are incredible. Really like that scene where they used most likely illusions to trick the elves into killing each other. And. Yeah, honestly, just really great. I think that it was great to see Kelbrimor finally stand up and go to try and get rid of the Nine Rings of Men. Ultimately, it will fail when Sauron will eventually get them. But, honestly, this was just so crazy. It was also cool to see Gilgalad show up. And everything with the dwarves was pretty tragic. The older Durin is very clearly losing it and is most likely going to die in the next episode. I don't think we'll be seeing the younger Durin be placing that ring on his finger, but honestly, it's just crazy. I do wonder where the rest of this is going. It doesn't seem like we're going to be seeing Numenor interfere with Sauron, at least at the end of this season. I think that Sauron will probably be captured by Numenor by the middle of next season, and the next episode we'll see the forging of the One Ring. So yeah, honestly, I'm assuming we'll be seeing Adar's death next week. We'll also be Sauron, see Sauron forging the One Ring, and we will be seeing how they escape and res resolution of a few storylines. But yeah, honestly, I think that these are getting pretty interesting. I do want to see what happens. This honestly was such a great episode because it didn't really focus on some of the more weaker storylines. But also it was just mainly a giant action set piece. Very reminiscent of the Battle of Helm's Deep, but honestly it was still pretty interesting. It definitely felt like they had a lot to do in this one, and they managed to do it all pretty well. And, as I said, Sauron's manipulations were the best part of this. I really am excited to see where this goes and how it finishes, but, yeah, honestly, 
this was just super exciting, super well done, and I just really can't wait to see where they go. I'm super excited to see the continuation of this, and I want to know what you think, because honestly, this episode definitely turned around and made things really interesting. So, curious to see where it goes. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you in the next episode of Legends and Theories. Thank you for watching this episode of Legends and Theories. Please subscribe, like the video, share the video, leave a comment, check out the video on screen, and may the force be with you.